industry. We are broadcasting live tonight from Washington, D.C. I'm your host, Cassandra Archer, a.k.a. the Divine Diva of Comedy. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We have a great show. You better tune in to this vessel radio. See, this is a wonderful thing, man. When I open these two eyes, the world has not been kind to me. It's not pleasing to me. The world no longer appeals to me. Tune in every Tuesday right here at Vessel Radio. 7 o'clock. Don't be late, you know. The majority of the males in my family are in jail to this day. Wow. And it's Brother Shazan and Preston. My God. Man, you can't tell me say they're not good people. It says, hello, my name is D. My mother's currently in the hospital at this present time in ICU due to a blood clot in her heart. For five straight weeks, I went to five straight funerals. Um, wow. I just lost a child. I just received news today that I may not be able to carry a pregnancy to full term. Tune into Vessel Radio every Tuesday. Eh? You hear what I'm saying? to me. Happy birthday to Happy me. Birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, I should leave it to the singer. Why do you serenade me? Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, Vessels. Today is my birthday. I'm so excited. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You're yes, I'm, I'm proud to say I'm 45 years old. I'm not wow. ashamed. Everybody been texting me. I'm 29 and I'm 28. It's okay, y'all. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm telling the truth right now. In a couple of years, I might start going backwards. But right now, I'm good. I'm good. I want to thank all my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter folks for sending me well wishes for my birthday. I want to especially thank people who um, text messaged me or picked up the phone and called. But I want to thank my mama. For always having a card in the mail on time. That's my wow, baby. Yes. <laughs> on time. I tell you, I tell you. So I'm happy to be here. We look forward to a great, great, great show today. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm you know, May babies, we special. We mm-hmm. celebrate all month long. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I had an eventful weekend and stuff like that. And still celebrating, okay? okay. So I'm going to be tired when I get to work Wednesday. So I don't want to hear y'all saying nothing to me, okay? So what you're saying is the party won't end until May what? 31st. That's right. That's oh, right. Okay. Okay. After Memorial Day. That's right. <laughs> bring it on. Bring it on. Oh. All right. <laughs> Good thing I don't party like I used to. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> If you are tuning in, if you want to tell us something, you want to wish me happy birthday or speak to one of our guests that we have today, oh, we man. are at VesselRadio at gmail.com or at VesselRadio on Instagram and Twitter. Or you could call or you could text us at 276-318-3773, okay, on Vessel Radio. I want to say hello to my co-host, Arnell, the hello. singing bird. Woo! From Christ hello, Music. and thank you for having me. I lo- thank you. Thank, thank you for you being for here. Thank you for letting me share your day. With you. you know I love having you here, well, girl. You. you guys should text in right now and say Arnell should be the official co-host, okay? She no. needs to be here. <laughs> no, we need to share this with yeah. other people. Yeah, you've been missing out. You've been skipping out right. on me. I heard okay, you in I'm school sorry. or something like that. Uh, yeah. Education. I mean, everybody don't need no extra education. You can right. just... Uh, right. <laughs> don't listen to that, children. <laughs> I also want to give a shout out to our founder who is in the building covering for our producer who is out probably getting his feet wet in the sand. Shout out to Shazan who is not here, but hello to our founder, Preston. What's good? Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? What's going on, Vessels? We got a great show lined up for you, for for everyone today. Um, Before we even get started, though, it's your birthday. Let's go ahead and play some music. Get Uh right into it. Here's a video uh, by the great Mary Mary. It's called Get Up. Okay. Okay. All right.
Apostle Shazan in reading our scripture of the day. All right. Um, so the scripture of the day is coming out of Matthew 5, 13 through 16. Um, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And we usually have a video or music to follow our scripture. Preston, what do we have today? Oh, uh, I got one of my favorites. Uh, it's a song by Lecrae. It's called I Need You. And uh, this is uh, by Lecrae, who is uh, of Reach Records. Here it is. Check it out. Lecrae, I Need You. Hello. Hey, baby. Yeah. Date night. Here we going out tonight. Yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be on time. All right. Love you. In my time zone when my mind's gone and I'm flying home and I'm stressed out and I'm tempted to get that style phone and go pull it up but you know what's up and you know that ain't gonna solve nothing I mean Lord forbid I might follow something and I'm all another cuz so hold me down like bitch straps to the sight ward it's killing me but you still with me when I fight hard and you digging me when I'm eating you deal with me when my car's pulled could have dealt with me but you fell for me for I fell for you keep me on that right path and the right math is you plus nothing's everything you my everything same you ain't got to question my allegiance Cause the way you love me, I can never leave I need you, I need you. By my side, thick and thin Highs and lows, don't let go We gon' ride, we gon' win Don't know how, all I know You, all I ever needed 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 all right, all right, that's Lecrae supporting our scripture today. And our scripture today was, once again, what was it? Matthew 5, 13 through 16. Matthew 5, 13 through 16. All yes. right. Now I'm up there jam dancing and jamming and stuff. I, I, I heard the scripture, y'all. I was paying attention. Uh -huh. It's <laughs> so, a good one. That's good right. One, that's yeah. right. It's a good one. So we have some wonderful guests today. I'm excited to introduce my first guest. This young lady is on a roll, everyone. She is my sister in comedy. As a former class clown, she realized that her talent in entertaining, but never acted up until she really, really um, attended live your dreams she attended an event and she started acting and while at this event god revealed to her that she possessed a special talent a special gift and uh excuse me uh, my mouth is dry this special gift would be used to honor him to honor god isn't that amazing yes. and to impact lives of others whether standing in line at the grocery store or in a bookstore, she has always used her sense of humor to captivate audiences as well as establishing relationships. She is here today. I'm excited to have her right now. Help me welcome my sister in comedy, Christian comedian, Tanya Lewis. Oh, girl, where did you get that picture? I like that picture. You just from a show. Look like you was modeling, girl. Wait a minute, did you take it back after you wore it? No. <laughs> yeah. Of course not. Then let me borrow it. <laughs> you just tried it on, took the picture, and took it back. You are not right. Hey, thank you. Oh, my God. Happy birthday. Thank oh you. God. Thank you so yeah. much. Well, you looking good. You thank doing you. good. Thank you. Happy to have you here. And we'll be together when? May, 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 May 29th. May 29th. May 29th. <laughs> let me give you a flyer now for you on. It's on, May it's on my calendar. You May 29th. <laughs> I need you to be there at five. May, May 29th, I'm going to be with my girl, Tanya Lewis. This is um, DMV's Got Talents. This is the sixth one, okay? Which I was in number two oh, and number. You, yeah, using a call. Oh, you some phone numbers on the back. Uh, you know what? She <laughs> been booking. She been booking people. Mitchell, Reggie. May 29th. 
Manassas, Virginia. Okay, yeah. you, ain't, you ain't finished giving all the information. Yeah, May 29th, Manassas, Virginia. This is going to be an anointed show. Um, Faith Temple Church, okay, is putting this on. And it's at 8618 Phoenix Avenue. Manassas, get ready, okay? Do you see this flyer? We are full of talent, all right? Yes. Just happy to see you, girl. I'm happy to see you, too. So besides May 29th, when we will be together, I'll be on Facebook. On time, five o'clock, okay. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your time. <laughs> What's been going on? I mean, life has like been wonderful. Um, you got speaking to the mic. Oh, speaking to the mic. Uh-huh. Yeah, life has been wonderful. Um, this past Sunday, I opened up for Shanita Moore. Uh oh, yes. I've been um with I opened up for Marcus, um, D Wiley. I, I mean, it's just been on the road. Amen. I mean, God is good. I can't complain. Amen. Awesome. So everybody who who for the vessels that don't know about you. Tell them, you know, when this all started. We said that, you know, it started when, you know, you were young, you were class clown and stuff. But when did you really find out, okay, this is it. I'm going to be a comedian. Well, I was on um, Craigslist looking for um, uh, an advertisement, and it said showcase your Christian talent. And I heard God. It was like, tell me you're a Christian comedian. My first response thinking, oh, you had me lying because uh-uh. I ain't <laughs> no Christian comedian. <laughs> I'm trying to be a Christian. And so, <laughs> and so, um. I went ahead, and then a couple weeks later, I got a response back telling I'm looking for a Christian comedian. I'm like, what? I'm a Christian comedian. At that wow. time, I'd have put it out there. Okay. So I'm like, I'm a Christian comedian. I looked at the email. Why? Wow, I was a lady from my church. Uh-oh. So Uh-oh. I'm like, oh, Lord, they're going to say I ain't funny. Oh, my God, <laughs> people, what have <laughs> I gotten into? God, what you got me into? And he gave me my title and everything. He was like, fit for the kingdom. I'm like, wow. oh, you got jokes, really? <laughs> you gonna talk about, I'm going to be talking about being fit for the kingdom. So that was my first show. Got a standing ovation. I was like, I'll never do this again. And when I got off the stage, they was like, I'm going to book you for another show and wow. I was like what wow. and she's like we're wow. gonna pay you and I said what you gonna pay me money and she was like yeah and so the second you gonna get a gift card right? I don't have people try to pay me at Red Lobster coupons right. or something I'm like look and then the second show I was like I'll never do this again and then she booked I got booked the second show for the third show and it's like been on a roll ever since wow wow yeah. and how wow. many years ago was that Three. Three years wow. ago. And she is, I'm telling you, she is from stage to stage doing great things. And um, uh, a little bit, uh, Mr. Brown's, um, I don't know if it was a show or, or the play, it was stage a, play. It was a, um, the Facebook fan page. I was on there, and they was looking for somebody to just write little comments every day. And so I went ahead and I entered the contest to do it. And it was like, tell me something funny. I'm like. Tell me something funny. So I shared an experience, and I started off writing jokes for the page. And then in time, I became the manager of the page. I turned mm-hmm. that whole page. Mm-hmm. Then it got twisted and Look all these God. hackers and different things. So God told me to come off and start my own page. Mm. Now, I had, like, millions of fans. I mean, all kind of fans. I'm like, you want me to start over? And I'm sitting here doing all this. But when I was obedient, that's when mm. God, like, really opened doors. And so I had my Amazing. own wow. page, Amazing. which is um, wow. it's comedian Tanya Lewis. I mean, I mean comedian, comedian yes. Tanya oh, Lewis. Okay. Double N. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Madame, you have any questions for Tanya? She is amazing, isn't she? She is awesome. And actually, um, we had an opportunity, Preston and I, to look at some of your work. Very funny. Oh, we both were like, she's just natural. Like, you just, yes. without even trying, it just comes off that way. But you have some other things, too. Um, you mime. Is that correct? Yes. Did you know that? Yeah. She, yeah. Oh, yes. okay, obviously. Yes. Okay, so that's awesome. That is, that's awesome. It's just the, a lot of people probably don't realize that you have so many other things that you do author, uh, writer, actor. So that's that's you awesome look, the way you're you dancing too, right? I'm, no. I'm, I'm serious. I, mean, I danced a couple times. I don't know if it was quite for the Lord, but. Uh. <laughs> You've also done plays. Yeah, I've done dance. Yeah, I've been in a couple plays, okay. and I'm actually um, awesome. screenwriting my first Crazy. play now. So all of the things that you've done, did all of these doors start to open when you said, oh, after you found out you were a comedian, or, or yes. were you doing it prior to? Well, I started, um, I was in the drama department um, okay. at church, okay. so that started. Um, opening doors, um, okay. being in there. Everybody was like, you need to do comedy. I'm like, mm-mm. Until yeah. I hear from God, I'm mm-hmm. not doing it. And then I went to the Live Your Dreams event. It was like, post something what people think you're good at. And I was like, if I get 100 comments saying I should be a comedian, I'm going to go ahead and give and it a try. I got over 100. And I was like, I'm still but, not doing it until <laughs> I hear from God. Y'all go ahead. going to stay looking at food. But, so. uh, Tony, I have to ask you something. You just kind of corrected me, or you took a segue to it when I said Christian comedian Tanya Lewis. You said comedian Tanya Lewis. Mm. What What's the difference? What made 
made you change and why would you not say Christian comedian Tanya Lewis? And this is something I fought with a long time because I know when God called me, he was like, you're bring, you are to bring laughter to the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Then I met Monique and she was like, you don't have to um, have Christian in front of your name, just live your life and mm-hmm. that'll do it for you. But that still wasn't good enough for me, no matter how well known she is. It was like, I had to get released from God. So mm-hmm. I, I prayed about it. I, I didn't listen to other advice. I'm a comedian and I reach other people people that's not saved um so comedian tanya lewis uh yes i'm a christian but now it is comedian tanya lewis how does that play into the content your, the content of your you know your, your material i should say is it just what are you talking about are you talking just about church thing or christian spiritual things how do you how do you, what is your content and that's the thing when god told me to bring laughter to the um kingdom i was like lord i'm really gonna have to read the bible now and they're like really <laughs> I know scriptures. like two scriptures and you want me to do what? <laughs> Stand for these church people. So um I can really say um when I get up there, he'll like give me everything. I write that stuff down awesome. and I lose it. So it's like I thank God for like the natural gift because I can truly say wow. when I when I get up there, people are like I can't wait to hear what you say and I'm like me either. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. <laughs> so. Now um a lot of our a lot of our um Christian comedians, comedians and a lot of the comics that try to keep it clean have um different in you know, experience with secular or secular venues. Mm-hmm. Now, if someone was to book you for a secular venue, would you do it? Do you have a a, a reason why you wouldn't do it, or do you feel like you can handle that? I, I pray over all events because I had a bad experience. All money is not good money, mm-hmm. so I do pray over it. Okay. So if he sends me there, then I will go. If not, then no. I still I mostly do churches, birthday parties, and things mm-hmm. like that. But I I prefer the church. So what's your most open. what's the most challenging thing that you have being a comedian right now that that you faced? Finding something to wear to the show. Uh, you play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I really get up there. Like when I'm in route to the event, I'm telling you, it's like. Um, I always used to say I'm nervous. Then I had a friend of mine. He was like, don't say you're nervous. Say you're excited. Walk in your um, TMA. And I was like, walk in your TMA? I didn't know what that was. And then um, I was like, what is TMA? And he was like, your tailor-made anointing. So it was like, yeah. And so that really, like, opened it up for me where I still, like, even coming on here, I was like, oh, my gosh. (laughs) <laughs> they're gonna see me what i'm gonna say but i don't even worry about it i'm yeah. like if god opened the door this far then i'm not worried he ain't gonna just let me get out there and that's act right. crazy plus i told him i said if you get me out here night the fool I ain't getting back up to you <laughs> and i have to commend <laughs> you on your weight loss you look oh, good you. you look thank great you. honey yes, you really you. do Beautiful. you're doing your thing preston can you have any questions for yeah, our tell you lose if you guys have any questions 276-318-3773 call in and ask her all the questions you you want uh right now if you don't mind time let's go into a quick clip so they can hear some okay. of your comedy. She is pas- passionate about leaving her audiences with the utmost so memor- memorable bit. experience no. of uh, laughter. We just need to square around here. Which way? And they asked me why was I speeding. I said, apparently, I ain't see you. Up, then you sit in. <clears throat> and week after week, I hear the pastor say, it does matter who you're connected with. Well, I can testify to that today, because as the police were pulling me over and everything, they actually heard the pastor's plan, because when the cops pulled me over, because it's not the first time. You got Cecil's so, picture ready? I'm going to be honest. Can I be real? I'm going to tell the truth, because you know some Christians do lie. Can I be honest with you? I'm going to let y'all know that I see in the spirit. But Christians lie. One of the lies that Christians tell, oh, yeah. I ain't lying. <laughs> Another lie is, I'm going to call you back. <laughs> I'm waiting on a call from half of y'all right now. <laughs> but my favorite one, mm-hmm. you don't look like what you've been through. <laughs> Some of y'all do. <laughs> but I'm going to share my testimony. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you are not. That is Tanya Lewis. Comedian Tanya Lewis doing her thing. And you look good up on stage, girl. So uh, this is your microphone. So tell everybody where they... Why are you holding on to your purse? Ain't nobody going to steal your food stamps? You got your, <laughs> that's the first time I see a guest. Girl! <laughs> she got... 
A lot of people are saying they ain't company. all been delivered. Uh-huh. I don't know Preston that way. <laughs> Watch him. <laughs> <'em. laughs> Hold on tight to it. Watch him. <laughs> Tanya, please tell our um, vessels where they can reach you, where they can find your information. Um, They can find me on videos. Facebook. Um, Comedian Tanya Lewis has two ends. Um, Everything else is anointed to laugh, social media. Um, they can reach out if they want to publish a book, need a website. Not only am I an author, I'm also a um, publisher. Um, my business number is 571-249-5543. My hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't call me after You that. know what? <laughs> I never heard nobody talk. She just- I have people calling me at 4 in the morning talking about booking a show. And I'm like, oh, what type of show you want? 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 in the morning. <laughs> They heard about you dancing. That's what it was. <laughs> All right, y'all go. We about to, <laughs> we about to get. <laughs> so what's in the future? What do we have to look forward to with Tanya? You have your book. Um, you have two books, right? I have two, um, three books. Okay. And I um, tell us I'm, about the I'm books. About to, um, okay, I thought you never asked. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, know. I do have a book that I want to. Um, you have my book, but I want to get pressed in my book. It's my um, book restored. It's oh, a little wow. bit. Um, it's a lot about my life and. Um, so I'm writing a screenplay um, called Torn, mm-hmm. and um, I'm excited. I don't know what's in the future. Hopefully a wedding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You got, you got to uh, ask God to send your man first. Like no, nah, I'm, I'm actually enjoying dog. my life. I'm enjoying my life. I get to wake up and just go when I eat, everybody eat. It's like... <laughs> So I'm excited. You're excited. That's wonderful. Uh, Arnell, you have anything else for Tanya? Um... I just, I love your work. We had a wonderful time looking at your videos. I'm excited to see what else God is going to do for your ministry. Thank so you. I'll be looking out. All right, thank you. <laughs> Amen. Tanya is just one of the wonderful comedic guests that we have today. I have another guest who is a comedian doing doing his thing in the DMV. I mean, I'm just excited to have comedians in the area um, that are able to be around local and don't mind coming on the radio talking right. and, you know, um, spreading their, their talents <laughs> everywhere, you know, right. whether it's church or in the club or in the grocery store, wherever, right. <laughs> wherever it, it is. It's awesome to see that you can still make people laugh and be clean and it be Christ focused or your foundation I should say is Christ so that's yes. awesome right yeah. and the information once again for um, May 29th please um, make it's sure it's 80 <laughs> okay it's 8618 um, <laughs> Phoenix Avenue Manassas Virginia and we'll post it on Facebook as well. And how much are tickets? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars only. Twenty dollars. Even at the door, it's twenty dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Even at the door, it's only twenty dollars. Yes. All right. So introducing my next guest. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, our funny bones, our tickle bones are going to be um, tickling all day with this uh, with this comedy show. Okay, we got a comedy show right here on the air. And I'm sorry I lost my space right here. And I'm looking for his bio, and that's a shame because it should have been on my phone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this young man, he grew up in Newburgh, Maryland. He was raised by his grandmother. He served eight years in the United States Marine Corps. And he has worked on the air on uh, air conditioning and heating field as a master technician for over 20 years. Well employed. You understand that? Okay. <laughs> he, he enjoys being married in bliss with his wife, Tracy, for over 27 years. Wow. They have two girls, ages 21 and 17 and one eight-month-old grandson. Praise the Lord. This young man is doing his thing in the DMV. Help me welcome to the Vessel Radio comedian Cecil Ray. All right, Christian comedian Cecil Ray is here, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? I'm reading this, and I'm like, married for 27 years. Y'all don't even look like y'all y'all that old to be uh, married so long. Got married when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> he got jokes, y'all. He got jokes. I'm so excited to have you here, Cecil. I've been, um, I've had the privilege of working with you several times, and just knowing you, you know, and and we um, were able to dialogue back and forth about being comedians and yes. you know strengthening each other. So, um, and I noticed on your bio, you do have Christian. Christian comedian Cecil Ray. Yes. So I just want to direct the question that I asked Tanya earlier. Is that is that very important? Does it matter? Or um, w- will you go by comedian Cecil Ray? Why is it so important to have Christian comedian there? Well, for me, it. I've heard Marcus Wiley had talked that had that same term at one of the shows, and he, he addressed that. And it's really not an issue for me, but 
I have to take it a different step further because we actually host the show. Okay. And we have to we we have to set it up where people come in knowing what to expect. Okay. So they okay. identify me with uh, they identify me with the Cecil Ray comedy show. Right. Mm-hmm. And and we advertise it as a Christian show, a clean comedy Christian show. Right. But if I'm working, you know, if, if I'm being booked, you know, being a comic is fine. Yeah. It's, it's what I do and how I live my life is what's going to dictate the mm-hmm. Christian side. Right. So right. I don't necessarily, I've, never, I've hadn't had to address that issue, although I've heard that issue addressed by others. It hasn't been an issue with me yet. Okay, okay. And just let the Vessel viewers know um, how long you've been doing your stand-up show because you pretty much started Cecil Ray show right um, right, off immediate, right, right off the top. Right off the top. So where did it all start? It, it started one day driving down the highway and God gave me a vision mm-hmm. to do comedy. And then I took a weekend and wrote and bought two uh, two notebooks okay. and just started writing. Okay. And from there, um, we uh, I got together with my wife and said, you know, we need to find a show. Matter of fact, I ran it by two people <laughs> that uh, that were, I saw two comics was uh, Belina Metcalf yes, and yes. Rod of God. Yes. And yes. now this was the first two I told my vision to. Okay. And he, okay. Rod of God, said, if you know, if it's if it's if it's real, then get a place, invite your friends, mm-hmm. and then see how it goes. Okay. So okay. I took his advice, and invited friends to a, to a clubhouse. Yes. And it went well. Yeah. And I said, okay, well now, you know, you, you got, I got the itch. <laughs> and we got to do this yeah, again. You get that. So now right. I had to find a place to find a place, and then in the in the, in the midst of trying to locate a place to do more show, do a show, it it kind of evolved. We had God had his hand in it because it, it turned out to be I end up the very next show we had a show where it was just not me I end up bringing in other comics right mm-hmm. yes no other comics but uh, we end up linking up with a, a house band yeah yes mm-hmm. yes and you were at the I, show. I was it, there that was the yes. original it, it that's how it, it just kind of started from there and I, I can't even remember how long ago that was that's been three, three, three years, years? Mm-hmm. wow time flies it's been three years. so um and thank you for serving our uh serving in yes. our, for our country we thank appreciate you. that and um so right now standing where you are and the cecil ray show has been going on and you've been doing mm-hmm. your thing and we're um you're having another show i'm, I'm on your show for yes, june for june the 6th okay let everybody know where that is june the 6th <laughs> it's going to be at the uh wingate by Wyndham. it's uh, of course you asked me the address um <laughs> And I don't have the address. What is the, ad- the address? Is uh, is it Wardle? <laughs> no, no, it's uh, 20 Stanford <laughs> Drive in uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, it's okay. actually off of 17, which is actually technically not not mm-hmm. Fredericksburg, but it's uh, it's the 17 exit going towards Warrington at the Wingate by Wyndham. Okay, and tickets are tickets are twenty five dollars online and. Yeah, they are online. And I saw it. it's myself, Miss Clarice. Yes, Miss Clarice, um, Curtis, Cur- Curtis Gaskin. Curtis Gaskin. Yes. And, uh, and a new uh, a new comic um, that I've never seen before. A new guy that uh, uh, um, Kenny okay. Cornbread recommended okay. from Fredericksburg. And he's okay. on the flyer. I can't think because I don't really see, know See, that's him. a good thing. Even up-and-coming comics, new comics, you know, you're allowing anyone yeah. um, to come up and display their, their talents. And that's that's a really good thing. So where are you now in comedy? How do you feel now um, since the show has been going on and since you've been doing your thing for the past three years? Well, I tell you, one of the things, one of the unique things that we did and one of the struggles is, like, from, the difference for us is instead of uh, having people try to book you and mm-hmm. then... We, we came in from a different perspective where not only I'm a comic, but I actually host a show and bring comics in. Okay. And one of our main issues was trying to find advertisement mm-hmm. and do and still keep the cost down. Mm-hmm. Okay. And one of the things that we just we came across that's been a blessing is that we hooked up with Groupon. Oh, okay. okay. So we're on Groupon. Groupon. Okay. And what Groupon has allowed us to do is reach an audience that we would have never been able to reach. Wow. wow. And, okay. and our audience is 50-50 white and black mm-hmm. now. Yeah. And this Mainstream. and each order is bringing yeah. in fresh new people that's that are blowing me away. It's like, <laughs> wow, awesome, I, wonderful. It's in, it's 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 amazing. Yeah. And we wouldn't have been able to not we been not now we been able to afford to uh, to book those people on, on mainstream radio because been to the cost has been too prohibited. Yeah, yeah. Arnell, you had a question. I, I don't have a question. I have a comment. Okay. And it's for uh, for Tanya and Cecil. One thing that I've heard from both of you is that God showed you something in obedience and you were obedient in 
being a comedian, ministering through comedy. And it's encouraging because you all both accomplished so much in your lives already and then went into comedy. It wasn't like something you've been doing all your lives. Mm. And just for anyone else who has a dream or something that they want to pursue, when God speaks mm. and tells mm. you that this is what I want you to do, you all were, both of you were obedient and he opened so many doors for you. So that's just very mm. encouraging. It's never too late. If God has given you a gift, use it. Amen. He will make the provision Amen. for that Amen. gift. So I just Amen. commend you all and just, you know, yes. it's just really encouraging mm. to see that. Yes, mm. yes. I, I have a comment too. Okay. I want to personally thank you because you're, he's the, he actually actually booked me for my third show right. and I got a call and was like Cecil Ray and I didn't know who Cecil Ray was someone want to book you and I was like where is it at and he was like at the old Lord in prison I'm like at the Lord in prison <laughs> I can't go <laughs> back <laughs> So that was my third show. So thank you. And now we both have events where we open the doors for other comments yes. to come awesome. in. So Amen. look at us awesome. now. So thank you for taking me to the jail. I think with, with God, it's okay. it's like you you think you would have to wait years and years for God yeah. to use you, and God can turn and open doors and move things. Because you gave him your yes. You said and yes. Right away. Amen. And you did it. Amen. Because I went from. From one of the things you know, comedy you have to grow. And they want you, you to do. come in. You got to do your five, mm -hmm. you do your three, yes, and do yes, your two, yes. and, you, and you and that might take you a lifetime. Wow. Yeah. Whereas when God said do it, it's like okay, okay. I'm not gonna start you at the at running, walking, or crawling right. around. Wow. Right. I'm gonna start you off running. Yeah. And I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna hold you mm -hmm. while you get gain your balance. Mm -hmm. That's because awesome. Because you still need to learn some stuff. It's still stuff we had to learn. Awesome. But at the same time, you're still running while you're learning. Awesome, awesome. awesome. Yeah. You are tuning into Vessel Man, Radio. We're friend. here with comedian <laughs> Tanya Lewis and Christian comedian <laughs> Cecil Ray. I understand we have a caller, Preston. Do we have no, a caller? No, we don't have a caller. No, we just want to go to a, a quick commercial break. Let's go ahead and pay some bills. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Can they pay man? That's important. <laughs> we'll I got be a couple right back yeah. after this quick <laughs> commercial <laughs> break. <laughs> Thank you. But <laughs> wait God, they still on.
from Christ Music and me, the birthday girl, the birthday girl. I'm having a great time. <laughs> you just don't know what it means to be around comedians. And my cheekbones hurt because not just because of our conversation, but because I know you guys and I know we can cut up. So, um, so Cecil, what's what's in the future for Cecil Ray? What are you looking forward to doing besides the Cecil Ray show? Well, one of the things we uh, we're pressing towards now because we rent a spot now for our club but what we're okay. in now is god is showing us a to open our, our own place mm-hmm. a okay place where we would would be what we call a cesar ray club or a permanent location where we're not paying and someone else rent okay but we own the place okay and then we'll have shows a weekly oh, and then awesome. when you know we have christian events so we'd be able to rent it out for various uh community events or what have you mm-hmm. and then have we'll be having, having shows every week Wonderful, as wonderful. To every other month. Awesome. That is, that's the goal right now. Wow. And then that's we're starting wonderful. to travel. I'm gonna be in, in, in West Virginia in, in um, June. Go so ahead, the word man. is getting out awesome. getting Go out ahead, there. Man. Folks are Ray doing his thing, y'all. So, awesome. So we're wonderful. Excited. Yes, yes. And we have to um give a shout out to Miss Clarice for the Christian comedian um L O L G C A comedian conference mm-hmm. that are you guys hopefully we all will be attending it's july 9th 10th yeah, and 11th in atlanta, in atlanta georgia mm-hmm. and we just want to um tell her thank you because we had it here last year before and it was a wonderful event where all of the comedians could get together and you know we learned about each other we grew mm-hmm. we learned to support each other so um just shout out to miss clarice we're going to get you on here so we can uh, get some more information about that and um and your kids what are your i mean i know both of you have kids mm-hmm. what do your children think of your your comedy i know it's one all of the things, they, kids, one right? of the things you know they tell you the kids like you need to come up with some new material <laughs> See, but and they don't understand. understand. That, that, that they, don't, don't they don't understand. guess that. If I came yeah. up with new material every time I went out, yeah. it would be, you would run out of stuff to talk yes. about. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They don't So that's don't not understand. how it works. So you don't come up with new stuff every single time you tell yeah. them. You just can't. Yeah. I heard Tanya say, we, we were really looking at a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. Um, Thank you. Um, you said, I don't tell jokes, I tell stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I imagine that's where you get your, you just tell stories the yes. everyday oh, wow. events that happen I guess yes. to you and, and let me ask her question as far as my kids they'll tell me they're like please don't put me in a joke and I tell them <laughs> I'm like you ain't writing no joke you might as well be part of the joke okay. mm-hmm. so that's what I tell them <laughs> I um, that's right. they think I steal some of their stuff but really a lot of the stuff I say is real life stuff yes. that happened to me and they really don't know I'm like no this really happened yeah. but I just God just put a twist on it and make yeah. it funny yeah. Yeah. and I just let them know it's like it's okay if they come get your stuff yeah and I, I think mean, it's that's, like real life stuff yeah they saying they come get it ain't I, about to come get none today right I think a lot of us <laughs> I think a lot of us comedians we had to find who we were mm-hmm, on stage mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whether you were uh, a one-liner person or a storyteller or you're that um, I mean there's so many different kinds of people that's why I, you know when you see a comedian the the comedy is totally different and um and i, I think i'm a storyteller i'm a little animated yes. um definitely um tony is a storyteller who, what how do you define yourself it's Cecil? All real life stuff yeah real. and it's amazing because you can take a serious situation and find comedy in it you can take a um a, a funny a real situation yes. and, and make it even yes. funnier or sometimes i've had epiphanies or god has just deposited in me while i'm on stage mm-hmm. just something came over me and i would say it and it would just be a hit has that ever happened to you oh, have, yeah. have mm-hmm. you just ever been in the yeah. middle in the zone like we call mm-hmm. it the zone let me tell you sunday yeah sunday when i opened for shanita when i i was like really nervous and when i came out i could really say the noise that took over i went and i i did a whole new set like wow. right on the set yeah. and i'm sitting there like yeah. when i got off i was like wow <laughs> that, right? that was i had to go back i was writing this stuff down i was like it, yeah, right? i was like what i said <laughs> but it's like you like a completely different person once you take on it's a difference between just wanting to do comedy yourself and being anointed oh yeah. wow. definitely yeah let me ask you guys something all three of you uh, okay um sometimes like okay so i sing and sometimes when i sing it's not only does it help or it's affecting other people it's therapy for me are there ever times that you get up there yes. and you might be hurting or broken inside mm-hmm. but as you deliver as you minister through comedy god is actually healing you or uh, let me I, all the time yes. um last yeah. year my kids went to live with their dad um they're not with me now um i had to move mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I lost my job. I mean, oh, wow. I was like really, really sad. I don't claim depression, but I was sad. I was going, I was telling jokes and just on the stage making people laugh. And I was like, God, why you have me to minister to people? And I'm sitting here going wow. home crying at night. I was crying. I was like, boo hoo. I mean, I was like really down. I was like, I don't want to do this no more. Mm. But people would come up to me like, you saved my life. Yeah. And I did a show. Um, my DMV last show, the, um, five, seven people gave their lives to God. Yeah, so it's like, wow. I'm not going through this for a reason. Yeah. Pain has purpose. And if I'm sitting here going through it, somebody going to get saved in the midst of this. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. Um, because being a, being a, I guess, a, a show producer, promoter, and it's, so I know all the ins and outs of the show and going up to the show and you're like, okay, with the ticket sales of this, that, and the other. So I have all this in my mind of the put, put, putting on the show then I got to go up there and, and mm-hmm. act like nothing's going just you know mm-hmm. yeah. I just showed up yeah the comedian side is taking and I'm looking at the audience and I yeah. know I don't know what okay the show only so half so I already yeah. know I had to come out my pocket yeah, 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 yeah. To, to, okay. to make up the rest and I'm like and then you still got to be funny look mm-hmm. knowing yeah. all the intimate details mm-hmm. but one of the things that happened to us that was that was amazing at one of our shows one of the couples that was that was there um and uh, we give out gifts at our show. You know, we yes. give away birthday yes. gifts. And and they, right in the middle of the show, um, and you can do this at Christian show. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> and the regular show, you can do this on a cellular show. Yeah. And they had to leave. And they told us, we got to leave because our daughter was in a car accident. <gasps> wow, mm. wow. It's somewhere in, in, in Virginia. Yeah. And and uh, so we had a pastor that was there. So we just, we doing that we just stop we got to the stop side and said we're gonna pray for you before you yes. leave mm-hmm. and then and then when the show it was on a break and then when the break came back i mentioned it to the rest of the audience said look the co- folks that were sitting down front yeah. daughter was in a car accident in the hospital are we gonna all mm-hmm. stand in agreement yeah. yeah that when they get to the destination that everything's gonna be okay right. yes, yeah. yes yes and yes and i was yes. like you know in a regular setting, you wouldn't be able to do that. You can't do that all the time. You can't do that. I said, we're going to stand in agreement. Everyone knows that they're, they're going to be fine. Yeah. And then when they got to their destination, everything was yeah. fine. And, and I think the major thing is that we all have Christ in our lives. And, mm-hmm. you know, God has, you know, taken us through these um, different trials and tribulations to get where we are. And um, I had a death in my family right before I had a show and mm-hmm. cried all the way to the show, wiped my mascara. And right before I got on stage, I just remember saying, Lord, I need your help. I need wow. you. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember what I did on mm-hmm. stage. But when I looked out, I had a standing ovation. Wow. So, you know, that just showed me how you know, God was in control. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, um, it, we have. I have been a blessing to others, and others have been mm-hmm. definitely been a blessing to me. Um, Cecil, so make sure you give everyone your information, your contact information, how they can find yeah, you. You. Can, you can reach me now. Just my wife handles everything. <laughs> so I don't do none of this. But I, what I can tell you, what I know is, you can reach me at uh, at CecilRayComedy.com. That's our website page and and all the information on it my wife's phone number is 571-245-7379 she managed she produces the show if you, y'all been to the show Sister Tracy call Sister Tracy y'all what you get I don't know nothing about that Sister don't know nothing about, about, it. Know nothing about I it I just show up <laughs> And the lights go on, and I start talking. <laughs> but everything you see at the show, she's responsible for. That's Amen. A Amen. Don't, don't I know that's, that's, more right. question. that's a question. Sure, please. I have another question for all three of you. Okay. Um, where do you all see Christian, Christian comedy going? What type of impact do you want to see it have on the world? Uh, it's I, you know what? With what we do, and what we do, I think that we can, with it, trying which not trying to it's just a matter of time opening the club is taking comedy christian comedy you know equal to secular comedy yeah whereas there's okay. no op- there's 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 equal to if you want to go see comedy there right now the, the only option you really have if you want to see christian comics or, or or safe comedy or clean comedy that won't compromise you and our show is about not compromising you will mm-hmm. not be compromised when you come to our show mm-hmm. yeah when you right. leave the show you know okay i'm good to go i don't have to go and, and repent Amen. After I Amen. leave my show, wow. Amen. that will never That's happen. Awesome. Wow! But <laughs> the people don't know that we they have that option. And yeah. when mm-hmm. folks come out to the show, right. they're like, "Wow!" Yeah. And it's yeah. funny. Yes. And yeah. they, they're amazed at how funny folks are. Yeah. So what mm-hmm. our goal is to take this thing to the masses and say, "Look, you could come secular. It doesn't really. It's not a secular sh- show. It's a clean. It's, we just have to be Christians. Mm-hmm. And you're not gonna be. You're not gonna be cussed at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah. we want to take it to the next to the next level. Okay. Tanya. I think for me. Um, 
because the world um they have such a bad taste about the church mm -hmm. and they look at the church in a different view so when they come to one of our events they be like man the church is not that bad <laughs> i mean mm -hmm. they'll come they'll leave with jesus and don't even realize they got mm -hmm. jesus wow. Wow. <laughs> we're wow. laughing into him like repeat after me <laughs> right. and i'll get you saved you ain't even know you're saved <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a blessing and we're like gonna take over you don't have to cuss to be funny you don't mm -hmm. um you don't. And, and funny stuff do happen in church people like do you oh, talk about gosh. the church i'm like it's some stuff that happened mm -hmm. in church we'll just talk about church all the time we talk about real life stuff okay. but the ultimate goal at the end of the day is to win souls to christ yes. Amen. people are hurting Amen. every day they Amen. need to laugh they yeah. need they and church need people can just sit there and act like ain't nothing going on mm -hmm. and just be so churchy but it's okay to have a good time and be saved okay. and, and i think I, I hope that christian comedy actually um supersedes secular comedy oh, yeah. mm -hmm. we have to reach the youth and that's one of my things like when we were talking about the kids my kids are like mom you're not that funny you talking about <laughs> me don't nobody know me but it's funny you know <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. we need to reach the youth and, and, and get into their minds also. And Christian um, uh, church people can be the hardest yeah. to perform in front oh, of. Wow. You know, I've okay. been cut down more in churches than in secular. Really? And um, yes, it's, wow. it's amazing because some people are so fickle. They just, mm -hmm. you know, they're so yeah. touchy. Oh, I don't think you should be talking oh, about people yeah. wearing wigs oh, okay. because Sister Betty Make had cancer this, yeah. and she wear wigs. <laughs> I'm wearing a wig. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> right. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, so a lot of times in ministering and talking about ourselves on stage mm -hmm. first, yes. you know, and reaching other people, and then people come and say, girl, your wig look good. I would have never noticed. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, you know, being <laughs> funny about that. Every, you know, so I think that if we continue to do that, it will help the Christian um, community, you know, okay. most definitely. Uh, Preston, you have any questions yeah, for our guests? Yeah, I, I got a few questions. Um, just sitting back listening um, to, to all of you. Um, I know a couple comedians that uh, actually do both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They go in and out. Yes. And um, I wanted to kind of say something to them, but I don't know what they're actually struggling with. Mm -hmm. Could be money, could be whatever. What would you say to someone that may be struggling with uh, maybe just working in both genres, doing secular one minute and the next week doing another at a, at a church? What would you say to encourage them uh, and help them out uh, with making a decision, a firm decision? Okay. Season? Well, for me, it's, 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 it's what's your purpose? Because they look usually when you do that you're looking you're doing comedy probably f for the work for the job it's like mm. a job mm. and you'll do whatever for a job mm -hmm. oh. but if 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 you thinking if you want to do it for god mm -hmm. then there's only one way to do it okay. and then one of the things that compromises wow. where we trying to, what i'm trying to bridge the gap is that if you're christian comedy you reason why you gotta go to the other side because you're trying to earn a living mm -hmm. right. and it's not a whole lot of money full time in christian comedy Right. Mm -hmm. So what one of the things we're doing is like we're trying to take it out of the church, so where you don't have to work out of church to do for have Christian comedy. Right. Yeah. Church has events when they're doing something special for them, mm -hmm. yeah. their needs, yeah. right. and that's fine for the church. But what about the rest of us who's trying to earn a living in this? Mm. Well, we so we gotta wait for you to have an anniversary right. before we have a church. <laughs> right? You right. gotta make it happen. Right. And my advice is choose this day. You can mm -hmm. be um, over here one minute, yeah. over here Not the next group, day. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, I believe God, I mean, you got to hear from God. I mean, mm -hmm. did God call them to do both? Um, I mean, a lot of people, it's who they're trying to win. Like you said, are they doing it for, a lot of people are doing it for the money. I do it for ministry. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you're going to serve God. I like Matthew 633, not because it's the only scripture I know, but because um, <laughs> if you see God first, everything mm -hmm. else will be lined, um, added yeah. to yeah. you. So yeah. the money's going to come. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because, yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah, I um, th and it takes me back. I started out in secular, and it just was not the place for me. And because, like you said, I was doing comedy, then running, trying to repent. Mm -hmm. And you have to find what path that follow that you have to follow your heart. Mm -hmm. You can't do both. Everybody's not that strong. I actually challenged myself after um, uh, uh, being a secular comedian, going into a Christian sent us uh, area mm -hmm. arena. And trying to perform. And when you get into the zone, you liable to say yes. anything. Mm -hmm. And I almost zoned out in a <laughs> wow. church mm -hmm. and went secular. So I had to choose. It was like, you know, oh, the wow. devil and the angel. It was like, okay, which which one do I need? And right. I had to follow my heart and follow the clean path where I can invite my, my grandmother, the grandbaby, mm -hmm. and feel... Um, respected on stage i wasn't respected in the mm. secular arena so mm. i would encourage that person just to tell them pick one 
You know, you don't have to be greedy. If you're going in secular, follow the secular money. Go get that. You know, don't try to step on our territory, uh, Christian territory, just because you're being greedy, because greed is a sin. Yeah. So pick mm-hmm. one. You know, they have to um, encourage themselves and be honest, be, be honest to the, their own feelings. Okay. Most definitely, okay. most definitely. Great. Yes, Great. yes. And we're almost about to wrap <laughs> up. Um, I like to um, ask my guests a, a crazy question. Mm-hmm. Do you have an outrageous question no, on you? You, you do so well with this. I've got a crazy answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. No, I'm anyway, no money. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> get together, give her a dollar. Still, still, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This can go all night long, all night. See what it happened was. Bank account set up. Need her over there. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Um, and I'll give you both the same question. Um, if you could, if you could be a box of cereal, mm. what kind of cereal would it be, and why? Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know. Mm. Mm. No generics. <laughs> they think you're hard I, dun, I, I'll go ahead and dun, I'll answer dun, first dun, dun, I can go ahead I would say special dun, dun. K mm. <laughs> <That's you. laughs> I am made in the image of Christ like I'm giving you a saved day right. like, I am made in the, from, uh, in the image of Christ I would say special with a K-book. I, I, I smell a man with a K I, 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 I know I'm not trying to spell it because of that I'm saying I'm just special I'm a special that's kind right, of that's right th- 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 that's right that's right she's special I'm a special kind of lady <laughs> But um, special K. Yeah. Okay. I won't gonna say no frosty for <laughs> <laughs> No lucky charms or nothing. No. Shoot. Oh, come on, Cecil. Don't think too hard. Uh, I'm, okay. One of the cereals that I get out, that I like, but I don't know why. It, it's uh, what is it? The, the Honey Nut Cheerios. Okay. But because you sweet, but you nutty. You okay? Yeah, you be a little so. crazy I, sometimes. You don't need no sugar. I need no sugar. <laughs> So once again, Cecil, can you give your information to the vessels, okay. please? So if you're trying to find Cecil Ray, want to book <laughs> Cecil Ray, I hope you can find me at www.cecilraycomedy.com. That's our website, and all the contact information, my uh, producer, wife, manager, slash, um, all of the above. You can contact Both. her, and contact her, and we'll get back to you uh, ASAP. For our, and then all our shows, the upcoming show for June the sixth is. Um, Miss Clarice, myself as the host, Cassandra, Cassandra Archer, <laughs> Curtis, Curtis Gaskin, Curtis Gaskin, and who am I missing? And then Joe, Joe, Huffman. Joe Huffman is the actually the guy coming from Fredericksburg. Awesome, awesome. So that's awesome. gonna be the June sixth show, and the June doors opening at six y'all. at seven thirty. All right, and May 29th, time you give your information and um, your information for the my show. My information, my website is www.anointedtolaugh.com. Anointed is with one N and the number two, so that's www.anointedtolaugh.com. May 29th, Cassandra will be my um comedian. I have Tanya Dallas Lewis. I have Linnell Lightfoot. Um, the course. I mean, my lineup is like phenomenal. Hey, we gonna like, party. Mind blowing. <laughs> um, tickets are twenty dollars. You can find them on my website, Eventbrite, inbox me, tweet me, all of that stuff. So. Oh, real quick. On yes. the Groupon, you can find us also on Groupon. Okay. I don't know what's on the Groupon, but look up Cecil okay. Ray on Groupon. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in to Vessel Radio. We're going to answer your tweets and your Instagrams later at Vessel Radio. We thank you so much. If you want to send me a birthday gift, you can do it to my PayPal, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday. Uh, yes. uh, uh, ministry over industry, the Vessel.